Okay, so I'm going to show you how this uh, Xbox wired controller that also works with the Xbox, it's not just a PC controller. Basically, you can just use an Xbox controller that has a wire anyway, I think. But since I sold my Xbox a long time ago, or Xbox 360, whatever, um, this is what I had to buy. So it was like 40 bucks at Walmart, but it's 30 on Amazon. Anyway, you can use it with basically anything, and I've installed um, SNES um, on mine. So, let me see here if I can't figure out a way to set it here so you can watch. Yeah, just to see the quality. The sound on this game is not the best, but it's the only game so far I've run into with sound problems. So, I apologize. I'm the Undertaker with many dead people and legends. I think three of the guys are dead in the ring right now. Yeah. Sad times. We're old. I'm old. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically, you know, I'm using the, uh, just using the, uh, I use the joystick actually instead of the D pad because the D pad is not that good on this controller for whatever reason. I think the D pad on the SNES was better, but uh, all the buttons work. You can pair them up like you like. So if you do like different configurations, it's really easy. You just go into uh, input here and you can input the configuration and you can change it how you want to. You can see I have the joystick up, left, down, right. If I do the D pad, it's just not very good. So that's why I left it like this. Um, just to show you how easy it is to load a game, there's all the games that have ever been made for SNES, so that's what I've downloaded in one torrent. Um, let's see, just load up Super Mario Kart, and you can see it, it's pretty smooth. You can change the resolution based on your, uh, based on your computer, it'll go better on like N64 and GameCube and stuff but on this on like SNES and uh, NES it's pretty good no matter what you know so uh, you can go into video window size you can do two times one time whatever uh, you can go in the configuration give it an exact uh, full screen display settings you can say high res different things I haven't really fooled with this much yet because each program has its own little way of doing it so for now, we'll just leave it like this because it's easier to see. You can see that it's very responsive. Um, so here you are, you know, very responsive. Super Mario Kart. And any, any game loads up and you can also save any game anywhere you want. A uh, file, like you can save it right here on this position and you'll come right back to it. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see, go to Nestopia just for a second. This is just the NES one, just to show you how easy it is to run this. Also, I have every game for NES now, because they're so small that it's nice um, to uh, have it all. So, so, you see the U's are United States, the J's are the Japanese version, so let's look at Super Mario 2, the Japanese one. Um, Uh, maybe the Japanese one didn't work. Anyway, <clears throat> I guess the J maybe this one doesn't have a Japanese uh, support thing on it. So there's all kinds of different versions. Pretty cool. Super Mario USA. That's uh, uh, I guess Super Mario Two USA. This I'm using the D-pad for because NES is really good and responsive with the D-pad. For some reason the SNES is not. I'm not sure why. But, um, you know, it loads fast. It doesn't slow down your computer at all. I've been downloading stuff on Steam and BitTorrent all day. Well, I just failed hard at that one. Uh, so, you know. Easy. You can save anywhere you want. It's really good. That's that. And as I say, you can load and stuff just like you can the others. 
Um, also, just to show you the, uh, let's see, I want to go to Dolphin, which is a Wii and a GameCube um, emulator. I don't think my computer is good enough to have uh, the Wii uh, emulator going very good because uh, it's really tough just to get Dolphin going. So it's not tough, it's just my computer's not that great. So we'll try out Dolphin real quick though. Dolphin is right here. I need to make a, a shortcut for that. Anyway, I got Eternal Darkness on here. It's about 1.4 gigs, so you know the games are gonna take a lot longer to download. The newer the system, of course. Um, I'll probably go ahead and get all the Sega Genesis and old stuff out of the way, and then maybe get up to Dreamcast and GameCube. And uh, there is also a PS2 emulator. It's just huge files, so I probably won't do that for a while. Anyway, Eternal Darkness. You can just click on it, double click, and it will open up. I've got it forced to be widescreen right now. It runs well, and it gives you about 60 frames per second, but it does skip a little bit every now and then. Um, so, you know. Edgar Allan Poe. It's very responsive, although the controls aren't as smooth as a GameCube, probably. It's a little bit weird sometimes. Uh, you can save just like, you know, on, on GameCube. It thinks your computer's a memory card, so... Uh, I just really just got through the opening credit or whatever, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Uh, I think this is getting a little long. Let's see, I'm at six minutes. Yeah, I need to stop this, but you get the point. It uh, takes a little while to load for some reason. Not sure why, but it does. And there we are in the uh, Resident Evil Mansion on Channel Darkness. So. And you just exit out and that's it, you know. It's really easy, simple to use. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what this little guy can do on a um, PC.